The National Agricultural Byproducts Project started under the ministerial directive of the Ministry of Science and Technology in 2004. The main purpose of the program is to look at alternative animal feeds using the available crop fodder from sorghum, from sesame cake, and other and, and, and by the byproducts. And uh, the project was uh, led uh, is led by Dr. Talal Murghani, who is uh, the national coordinator for the project. And he, this project has worked in a number of states, in the Kassala states, more than uh, 20 states in the Federal Republic of the Sudan. And uh, the impact has been great because uh, there are about 300, 320 million tons of underutilized crop fodder in the Sudan. And obviously this is a major uh, issue for the pastoralists and uh, farmers in the Sudan. And the main uh, objective of this uh, project, project have been very successful. Now the collaboration with the pastoral and the environmental network in the Horn of Africa and the uh, Animal Production Resource Research Center in collaboration with the National Project started to carry out a specific research on the use, uh, the potential uh, use of the mosquito, Prosopis uh, joliflora, as well as other uh, agricultural products and we carried out uh, intensive research for six months based at the uh, at Kuku, the Animal Research Production Center and uh, we completed that study at the end of 2007 Consequently, we were able to organize, uh, with funds from Oxfam Novib, the first training uh, of trainers for about uh, 30 pastoralists in the Castle Estate. The reason why we concentrate in the Castle Estate is the Castle Estate is a predominantly pastoral area, and uh, the nomads and the pastoralists need desperately uh, food for their animals, and we want to develop technologies which are available and, and suitable to the conditions of those uh, communities in the eastern region. The eastern region is also very important for us because it's adjacent to Eritrea and Ethiopia. So any new technologies on animal feed which we uh, invent in the Sudan will be of great value to the neighboring countries. Recently, uh, the university, uh, Sudan University of uh, Science and Technology, uh, College of Veterinary Medicine, the National Project, uh, and PENHA, with support from FAO and PENHA, organized uh, a five-day training in Kassala during uh, October uh, 2008 uh, and we drew a number of uh, pastoralist community members from the state. The workshop uh, was very successful. Uh, the pastoralists uh, shared the knowledge and they were uh, given uh, equipment like a chopper, as well as um, uh, feed materials which they can uh, experiment in their villages. His Excellency, the Minister of uh, Animal Resources, uh, Mr. Babikur Digna, and other very senior officials from the government in the Kassel State, and also Professor Musa Tuban, uh, Dr. Intisar uh, Turki, the Dean of the um, College of uh, Veterinary Science and Animal Production, and several other people from the line ministries, including the executive director of PENHA, uh, participated in the workshop. And uh, the main outcome of this training workshop was the, the pastoralists who came from a number of areas were trained in some very practical skills. They were given choppers and they went back to their, to their, uh, to their villages. Uh, the minister uh, closed the session and he stressed that uh, uh, this project should continue. We also um, appreciate the support from FAO and their representative in Kassala, as well as uh, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, who came from the head office in Khartoum, and a number of other participants who made this workshop a success. Um, as far as uh, PENHA is concerned, is PENHA is a regional organization working in Ethiopia, Eritrea, Sudan, Somaliland, and Uganda, with an international office in uh, UK. We are all Africans from the Horn of Africa and we are committed uh, to developing pastoralist organizations in the Horn of Africa to provide them support in institution building. Uh, we also carry out research on animal health, on human health, uh, indigenous knowledge, uh, 
as well as um, um, uh, uh, alternative animal production and animal animal feed uh, in our region. We believe that uh, the Horn people have a lot in common. They share the same cultures, uh, the same religions, and the same history. So therefore, Penha uh, is committed to the advancement and development of the pastoralist people, both in the Sudan and in the neighboring countries. The new technology which we are trying to introduce uh, among the pastors both in the Sudan and the Horn of Africa is to show the pastors people there is a better way of utilizing uh, the available fodder. In the Sudan, for example, you have crop fodder, you have uh, molasses, you have urea, you have this country has a lot of things. So what we are trying to do, and thanks to Dr. Talal's expertise, we try to uh, make up uh, a ration based on uh, the alternative animal feeds. And, and, and basically what we do is we mix this um, crop fodder with urea, with molasses for different purposes. So therefore the, the pastors will have a package of food according to the needs of their animals. And this seems to be very popular with them because they understand the use of urea, they already use it, they understand the use of molasses they, because sugar is available in the Sudan, they understand the use of um, alaf, the use of beta grazing, they understand also especially that they never knew that uh, mosquito can be used for animal feed. So through this process we have helped them uh, to also make use of uh, the mosquito plant. Uh, as far as the chopper is concerned, the idea of a chopper is to help them to cut down the fodder and the mosquito pods and everything else so that when they, they make the, um, the ration, uh, they know exactly what different uh, uh, components should be included in the ration and also they will take that knowledge uh, to their villages. We have already got some very positive results from the pastoralists who told us that uh, their milk yield in their animals has increased, their animals have now better health and they're getting more body weight, um, the animals they have. Therefore we are very happy and this is just a pilot project, I want to stress this. This is the beginning of a long term project for us. We're going to do a lot more training at the village level so that uh, we don't do it in Kassala but we do this training at the village level so we can reach hundreds of thousands of pastoralists who are in the countryside not in the city. You can now clearly see uh, what the pastors are doing in, in mixing the, the different uh, agricultural byproducts with urea, with molasses, in making uh, silage. Uh, therefore, the idea now is, uh, as you can see, they are chopping the, uh, the, the fodder and they are mixing it and they know exactly what to do and how to take it home to their villages.